Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm gonna to be going over M cabinet and how you can just quickly switch IRs and use a GUI to make that so you can switch them easily. Somebody asked me online recently about loading IRs in here and just switching them between you know, different IRs easily. I think they wanted to make something like an EQ and they wanted to switch between EQ curves. And I'll show you how to do that here. So first thing you wanna do is take a blank template. Uh, you should be able to look up there, look inside your presets and find one. We're just gonna go into the edit screen here and I've already loaded impulse responses here and the profiles. So just load your profiles by going in here and analyze an IR, etc. Or you can just drag and drop it in there, however you want. I've loaded all 16 in here. You don't have to do that. You can do as many or as few as you want, but I just filled all of these up. Something you might want to do is add input and output. We can do that easily here by using quick learn, input, quick learn, output. I want these in the same row like this. And let's look on the edit screen and see what it looks like. Oh no. You might see something like this where one of the other GUIs is on top of here. Inside it looks alright, but outside it has this GUI on top. We don't want that, so the way to get rid of this is just to go into the menu here. You see where it says Reset Device Info? Just click this. Now it's gone. So this is our GUI here. We have input and output knobs. These are just there so you can adjust the volume. You don't have to have those. You really don't re need the input. You could just have the output there. Or you could use wet dry or whatever you want. Any type of controls you want to put on there, you can do that. Now let's get into the switching. You see we have here the profile. We can do the same thing here. Just click quick learn and just click through these and that will set it up. Now I might want it in a different row here where it says cabinet. If I look here, it'll be in a different grouping. Maybe that's okay, maybe that's not. If it's not, just put it someplace else. And you can also change the name. So it says profile here, but let's say I want to change it to IR, okay? And I could change the grouping too if I wanted, but this seems all right. Now this is very easy to use. I have one through 16 and whichever one I leave it on, let's say if I leave it on seven, you'll see here it's on profile seven. That's great. Be careful because if you don't use the quick learn, what might happen is it will be on percentages by default. And now it's moving through them, but if you look, it's in percentages, so you can't really tell which one it's on. So that one isn't so ideal. I would recommend putting it here for the first parameter. That way you have the numbers. But I imagine that maybe some of you don't want 16. Just go into the max here and just bring it down, let's say eight. So now it's just gonna go through one through eight. Although that's still not quite perfect because I am imagine you think, you know what? I don't want to actually have numbers because I don't know what the numbers mean. Maybe I want a name for these. We can do that too. What we're going to do, instead of having a knob here, we're going to go in here and change this to banks mode. Now I could do as many as I want. I can go all the way up to 16 or actually more than that, although there's not 16 profile spaces. But let's do four here just because I don't want to waste a ton of time doing this. But I'll show you, you can actually do more if you want. So just set these to whichever banks you want. With the knobs, you have to go sequentially like one through eight or one through 16. But for this mode, you don't. So if you just wanted to use one, three, seven, and nine, for example. And here where it says name, use whichever name you like. For example, my fave, this one is cool. Great IR, and the last one. Use whatever name you want to use, like like Greenback or whatever you can put in there too. That's fine. Now you'll see it here. I have it, but it's still like one, two, three, four. And you're like, why is this not working the way it should? So there's a few reasons for that. One, I need to set this to bank name. Boom. So now it has that there. And if I look in the main screen, it will change like this. If that's what you want, that's great. 
So that way it's going to change between this here. But I'm noticing it's not really working the way I want to. See, it's still going through all of these, and I don't want that. The names are good, but the way it's working isn't. So what I want to do here is I want to change this from the normal knob here. Actually, first thing is turn off the interpolate values. Boom. Like that. Now you see it's jumping between 1, 3, 7, and 9. Instead of interpolating and going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 3, 7, and 9. Great. I can leave this here as I want it if you like a knob, but if I don't want that, there's something else you can do. I would prefer to do it this way. And I can go into the edit screen, but I'll show you a quick shortcut. If you click uh, Control Alt Shift and click on this, it brings up this multi parameter screen for whichever knob or value you have. And here I can easily see what it's doing. Now in the editor mode, it's normal, which is this knob. But if I change it to something else, I can you know change how it looks. This time I'm going to use for this I like to use a switcher or selector. So let's try switcher first. You see it here, and I can click the arrows and change through it. Or if I click on the center, it has a pull down menu. So that's good. If I open it again by using that Control Shift Alt and click on it, I can do the same thing. I have the switcher but with no arrows. So it's just gonna take these arrows off like this, if you prefer that. And another one you might wanna use is a selector. So this one, instead of a pull down menu, just click on it. And I can do the same thing with the other one, selector big. So choose whichever one is the best. I think for something like four IRs, I like, this mode, the selector. But if I was going to use all 16, I think the switcher is actually better because you're going to have a big long, you know, pull down menu and I think it'll save space. But of course, it's up to you. Maybe some of you have better eyes for graphics than me, but you can do whatever you want with that. And of course, after you do that, you can make your own custom IR. If you don't like this look, you can make it look however you want. But that's a way that you can load up to 16 different impulse responses or profiles in there and switch them easily and quickly. You can use this for an EQ, you can use it for guitar cabinets, bass cabinets, all sorts of weird and interesting things you can do with that. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me any questions or comments down below, and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.